Wakazi wa eneo la Barute eneo bunge la Nakuru Magharibi waliamkia mauaji ya kutatanisha mauaji mawili tofauti ambapo msichana mmoja alipatikana ameuawa kwa kukatwa kichwa na mwanaume mwingine kupatikana ameuawa kwa kunyongwa. Bela Bosum anatuletea taarifa hiyo kutoka kaunti ya Nakuru. Kaunti ya Nakuru wameshuhudia kisa kingine tena tatanishi. Mawaji mawili tofauti katika eneo la Barut, eneo bunge la Nakuru Magharibi. Watu hao wawili wakiwa ni mwanamke na mwanamume, wanaripotiwa kuna jisiwa na kulawitiwa kabla ya kuliwa kinyama kati usiku wa Jumani na Jumatano. Kamanda wa polisi kaunti ya Nakuru Peter Mwanzo alisema kuwa mwili wa mwanamke huyo ulipatikana ndani ya moja ya migodi ya mchanga katika eneo hilo na watu waliokuwa wanaelekea mjini mapema asubuhi. Mwili wa mwanaume huyo ukapatikana chini ya kilomita moja na wanafunzi waliokuwa wakielekea shuleni. Uh, well it's uh, with a lot of um, pain that we have to confirm that this incident has happened. Yeah we woke up this morning and we were told that uh, there was a scene of some people, some two people had been killed. And uh, this is within Nakuru West. And uh, police moved in. We came in very fast and uh, it is true there was a body of a girl terribly that the head had been removed so the identity of the girl is not yet known is not yet established but uh, yes some two kilometers away apart the another body of a young man aged about 48 years Mwanzo alisema kuwa uchunguzi wa matukio hayo mawili umeanzishwa na kuongeza kuwa wanashuku kuwa huenda matukio hayo yalifanywa na genge moja uh, we, we, we have commenced our investigations and uh, through our, our, our informers on the ground we are following some very credible leads and we are able to soon have the DCIO here and have the OCPD and these guys uh, I must assure you that we are working around the clock to make sure that Nakuru remains safe. Jama na majirani wameacha midomo wazi na matukio haya wakiwataka serikali kuboresha usalama katika eneo hilo wakitaja kuongezeka kwa visa vya uhalifu vinavyofanywa na watu wanaoshikiwa kwa wagenge lililopangwa. Nilipata tu habari asubuhi. Nikaambiwa bibiana mtoto wako jana yako amepatikana pale ameolewa. Sasa wakati nikuja hapa nikakuta kweli ni wao. Nika sahihi unafanya na na waje ni waje tu uchunguza kifanyika. Tumesikia uchungu sana. Baka tunaomba serikali waingilie kati hii uchunguzi kwa haraka sana. Wafanya uchunguzi kwa haraka kwa sababu hatuwezi ishi area yetu pasipo usalama. Na kama serikali waezi ingilia kati kufanya usalama sisi raia tutachukua hatua kujilinda. Unyenyekevu nilikuwa naomba serikali at least kama watatuwekea police station kidogo kwa hiyo center at least itatusaidia kwa kuzuia mambo kama hayo. Bella Mibosson, Look Up TV. Hmm.